And I, at this point, I'm like, I want nothing to do with this situation. Uh -huh. So I back out of the situation. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm watching it from a mile away. And it's all great. Asshole. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so one of the cops comes up to Baker and he goes to grab him. Baker flips the switch. He's like, don't touch me, you pig fucking piece of shit. I'm not gonna take this shit from you. You can arrest me right now. I'm not losing this fucking keg. I'm not losing my fucking deposit. Oh my they tackle him to the ground. He oh breaks his nose and then gets arrested. Well, yeah, but did he get his deposit? No, nah, he didn't get his deposit. Joey! You see my fucking car, man. Get off of him! What the fuck? You're lucky you didn't break his nose. Yeah? Because, you know, I thought he was the lucky one. So, Joey, did you key his car? Yeah, nobody saw me do it. Trevor has had a grudge on me ever since. It has to be between me and you. Ever, ever since I, I stuck my tongue down his girlfriend's throat. Keep it up, Joey. You know, he punched me. So, so this whole thing is bullshit. Mr. Hunt's just itching to kick you out. <sighs> Joey, you are so fucking cool. Come on, really? Is this who you want to be? These days I'm barely passing for human, my life in ruins. Now I'm just bullshitting, shooting the shit. Tooting my own heart like Julius Watkins, walking for miles till I be mine. But who am I? I'm just a word sniff on that third rock. From the side, the side. No take the heat from the side. And throw it into my tongue. That's why they call me B1. B1 with nature. B1 with the creator. I may God take ya. Hey, places you invent to. I'm trying to get with the new school. Do what you do. You know. Call my God. Drop my pants real loud. Just to be cool. Ooh, music ain't what it do. How safe is your drinking water? Well, many people are asking. That question after the state fined Westford hey. and Southfield hey, County for not treating their water. Samantha. Come on, Joey. We were watching that. Come on. That's not uh, coming home tonight. So you two have the pleasure cooking dinner with moi. Pleasure? That's never home. How do you think he pays for the CV? Or the bed you two sleep in? Hmm? Come on. Come on, no. we're cooking dinner. Joey. We gotta make some dinner. We gotta make some dinner. Joey. We gotta make some dinner.
careful, be careful. Nip, you pussy. Get the whiskey. Oh, yeah. Good God, get the whiskey. Oh, let's take a look. Oh, right here. Good. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Hey, hey, hey! Keep your voice down. I get, I get children. I think we're gonna have to operate. I think we have to operate. Doctor, he's prepped. He's prepped. He's prepped. Okay. Get that. Hide the shit. Evening, Melissa. How's your night going, Richie? Oh, poker night, always good for me. Mm -hmm. I bet. You been playing down on Norwalk Street? I don't follow. Construction site got ripped off a few hours ago. It seems like the German Shepherd got someone good. Well, I'm in tree removal, not construction. How's business? Booming? <laughs> Does it look like it's booming? Ah, I'm out. Hey, Adam, good. Son of a bitch busted me on the river with an inside straight. When'd you get released? Me? I've been out a while. Good behavior, baby. Shit, we known you were coming by. Could have made a strip poker. Hey. Kind of pathetic. Well, you know, it is getting late, so unless you got a warrant. Yeah, I think if I came back with a warrant, you boys would be playing cards for cigarettes. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> okay. Now you drive safe. Keep your hands on ten and two on the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Sexy bitch. Let's go put one on key. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> trees out here. There is my tree. You gotta have respect for something that's been around that long. Yeah, and, uh, you know. Good shot. You have plans tonight? Yeah. Cancel them. Dad. I can't. I've canceled on Allison. Come out with us tonight. Don't wet yourself. Keaton got his ass bit off his shit. Uh, you be in the cold, keeping watch. All right. Oh yeah, call the babysitter. Just mail me your titles now and say the public embarrassment. You never even battle. How the fuck are you arrogant? No wonder why you scream into the night. It seems like no one's listening because you're just one tiny beam of light in this whole solar system. Your creation is a fallacy to rap. Yo, Joey. It's good. Dude, you knocked Trevor out, bro. I got the whole fucking thing. Look at this shit, man. You put that shit away. What the hell's wrong with you? Jeez. Where are you going? Uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. You can wait until 9.30. I'm literally about to shit my pants. You're gonna be responsible for this shit all over this floor. Stop laughing. I'm serious. I'm I'm leaking. Jo Joey, all right, sit down. I have to shit my pants so bad. I'm about to flip this table. All right, please stop saying I have to shit my pants. Just say I need to use the bathroom. Okay, I really have to use the bathroom. You're unbelievable. Oh. You're unbelievable. Oh. You're disgusting. Can't believe they let you get away with that. Yeah, they can't wait for me to graduate. 
Yeah, if you graduate. Well, I got my shit on lockdown. You are the one that I worry about. <laughs> Someone's excited. I'm off tonight. What do you want to do? Dude, <laughs> tell your dad to watch those kids for once. Eh, that's who I'm hanging with. We're gonna do family stuff. Family stuff you're gonna do with your dad. I don't know. I'm gonna drink beers, watch a couple movies, something like that. Fine. You can hang out with your dad. Maybe I'll let uh, Morgan Silarino take me out. Whoa, oh no. I don't want that. All right. Uh, Friday night. Mm -hmm. When you get off work, I'll come pick you up and I'll take you to that Mexican restaurant that you love so much. Senior Mexican name. S Senior Pepe is racist. There's a uh, soda in the fridge if you want any. Cool. Uh, make sure these two liars are in bed by 9 p.m. and they are not allowed to watch the 10 p.m. news no matter what they tell you. Are you still dating that girl? Make sure they're in bed by 9. <laughs> Later, brats. That was not my fucking fault. Of course it was your fault. No, it was not. It's way your fault. Definitely your fault. Look, you guys have a job. Don't fucking. Ah, the entertainment's here. Oh. Start with me, miss. Yeah, if you had a dick. Oh! You punk ass bitch. Oh, look at you. Oh, what's going on, little cousin? Part of the crew now, huh? God damn. How many high school bitches you hitting, huh? Got any for me? Well, I'm not part of this family. Sure you are. Your wife didn't tell you about me and her? Oh. All right, listen. Baby, <laughs> say. Yeah. Okay, do we need her for these guys? Oh. Hello. <laughs> All right, listen. My son's coming out with us tonight, so let's tighten up, not act like a bunch of jerks. Real off. professionals. That's right. Grab a seat. Pull it up. Tonight, Joseph, <laughs> we will be taking our talents to the Main Street Antiques, where their inventory features more than a few fine items, but none worth mentioning more than an incredibly rare set of coins. Coins? Oh, yeah, coins. But not just any coins. That's... These... What about an alarm? All right, Joe. Don't worry. We got that covered. You keep a lookout. Keep a lookout for you see a cop car, late night jogger, little forest critter, anything. You let us know. Got it? OK. Channel 2. When I was up in Winslow, there were these two guys. Fucking identical twins. Real ugly, mean as shit. <laughs> so one of the brothers was always reminding the other brother that he was three minutes older. They fight like kids still. So the older brother, he starts banging one of the chick hacks. She's about like a one and a half, but in prison, that's a fucking seven, believe me. So the younger brother, he catches wind of all this shit. He decides that he wants in on the action. Why not make it a family affair, you know? So he pulls it off. He starts fucking banging her. <laughs> maybe, maybe she couldn't tell the difference. I mean, yeah, they might be different by a couple minutes, but the inches are probably the same. <laughs> Anyways, some asshole ends up telling the older one that they're both getting water at the same well. So the older one is smart about it. Next day, younger brother, he's taking a shower. It's going well. Water pressure's good. Hasn't dropped the soap. He goes to shampoo. Suddenly, this guy just starts fucking screaming out, Fuck! Ow! Oh! oh! Fuck! 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 It burns! The older brother had put bleach in his shampoo. <laughs> he nearly went blind in his right eye, and it burnt the skin right off his dick. <laughs> she could tell the difference between them after that. <laughs>
orange key? After you. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Yeah. Someone's coming. Shit, you scared the shit out of me. Wait, you're friends with my son, Brendan. Hey, hey. Jeremy. Jimmy? Have one. No, thanks. What are you doing out here, anyway? Going for a walk. What about you? That's my shop. Piece of shit. My wife kicked me out again. Joe, do you copy? How you doing out there? Joe, do you copy? Joe, do you copy? What'd you say you were doing out here? Joe, do you copy? You think I'm stupid? Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck off of me, man! Oh, oh, I think you could rob me! Hey! <laughs> Come on, you fucking chill out! Chill out! Relax! Relax, man!
What if someone fishes here? You're late. How much is it? Well, it would have been 20, but I was here for an extra hour and a half. Yeah, here. Thanks. Just so you know, Blake hit Chrissy, and she tried to scratch his face. Great. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Good night. Guys will be up soon. You knew this guy? Yeah. He used to be friends of his son. Police will come looking for him. People disappear all the time. Dad. No, I was thinking. What if we told him what happened? You know, he attacked us. Huh. 
You mean like if we go on down to the precinct and we say, look, we were knocking over this antique store and, you know, the, the owner caught us doing it, so things got out of hand. And This isn't high school. You don't get to weasel your way out of it with the teacher. But he's gone. Like we did before. Now I gotta look after these two clowns. I need you to be my rock. Can you do that? Yeah. Party got canceled. Ah, you had to drive all that way? Well, we could have let you know beforehand. Oh, show a little courtesy. Hey, it wasn't too bad. Tara, this is my little cousin, Joey. Hey. Hi. He's cute. He's got a tiny pecker. It runs in the family. She knows. She gave us the code for the alarm. Ran the owner? No. He was seeing her on the side. Yeah, you say we were the only four that knew. She's a good kid. Her and Britt have known each other forever. First friends don't mean shit. Why didn't you tell me about her? I told you what she needed to know. 
And it seems like a lot of people are needing to know. Joe. Joe. We can't afford to make any more mistakes. Glad you finally decided to look out for us. Hey. Some trees are gonna fall. The important thing is they don't fall on our house. Okay? Come on in and have a beer. Come on. Gotta go check on the kids first. All right, come back. I want you here. You avoiding me? Relax. That's sick. You couldn't even text. And my phone died. Fuck you, Joey. I'm not stupid. Something happened. You think I'm lying to you? I texted you like 20 times. Where were you? Joey, are you listening? Babe. I'm sick of this shit. Just. Tell me the truth. House, Ma, what are you? You're lying. Please don't, don't do this right now. Fucking douche. Come on, come on, come on. Go right ahead, Brandon. Oh, it's not cool. Fucking cool. Fucking cool. Hey! It's not worth it. What the fuck's your guys' problems, man? Get the fuck out of here. Keep running your fucking mouth. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Fuck you guys. You all right? Didn't need your help, man. <laughs> What's so funny? You don't think I can fight? I used to wrestle you every day after school. I know you can. Whatever, man. Hey. Hey, Brian, I was just joking. I feel bad for you, man. It looks like a mess, but there's really an order to it. He couldn't make it, huh? <laughs> Heard him up, got a hold of him. <laughs> yeah, my be all right. I'll tell him you asked that. I'll give you 500 for the line. <laughs> Don't break our balls. First off, half of them are engraved, huh? Can't sell them online. There's three PCD tip pergo blades in there. Barely been used. Your dick's barely been used. It don't mean it's worth something. Okay. All right, 500 to this stick. <sighs> See? Everything has its place. No more fucking around. Now, the coins. Where are you? I ain't got him. What? I got somebody lined up for these. Yeah, we had to cancel. And? And nothing. And that's what you're going to tell anyone who asks. I see from this shit that's what fine by me you look like a gambler 
to go fuck yourself. Grease monkey motherfucker. Hey, chill. No, chill. fuck you, man. I'm fucking tired of you. Boy. What are you gonna do? The, what are you looking for? Just talk to me. What are you looking for? I'm trying to figure out what all this is worth. The tools. They're yours. You can keep them. OP thinks I want a bag of tools. Joe, go wait outside. Now. You actually trust that guy? Sticky knows what's good for him. for Greg going. You still looking for him? Or are you guys back to running speed traps as usual? We were hoping to find him in one. But this morning, a statey found his car parked out by the train station. Yeah, he probably outsmarted all of us. Took off somewhere a lot warmer than here. Hey, Joey, you know it's cheaper at the Shell, right? But it's good to support local businesses, I guess. Brandon, I'm kind of busy right now. What do you want? The other day, man, I was just really fired up, and I hate those guys. And thanks. Yeah, man. I don't mention it. Hey, is that Joey? Yeah. Well, ask me for dinner. Brendan, ask him over for dinner. Hey, my mom saw you at school the other day and told me to ask you if you want to come over for dinner. Uh, I would love to, but I gotta, you know, feed the kids tonight, so. All right, man, it's cool. I just, yeah, just thought I'd ask. Brendan, let me have your plate, please. Thank you. Joey, asparagus? Ah, uh, yes, please. Okay, good. There you go. So, what do you do with yourself nowadays, Joey? Seems like you haven't been over since, well, since you boys were at Truman. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a bit. <laughs> you know, I remember when you guys were little, we couldn't pull you away from that big screen TV in our playroom. You remember that, Brendan? Yeah, you guys had cable. Oh, is that what it was? Well, we're glad to have you. You looking at colleges? Oh, uh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not right now. Well, you should really get started. There is a lot to consider. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if, uh, it's, if, if it's for me. So I noticed that you smoke. Mom, come on. What? Joey? Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I do, um, 
my cousin Britt got Uh-huh. Well, I think you should quit. You know, it's very bad for your health. I, I will for you, Mrs. Carlson. Glad to hear that. Okay. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Hello? Yes, hi, detective. No, it's not late. We actually just sat down to dinner. Yes? Let me know if you hear from him. Neighbors never stood a chance. Mm. The Crayleys. Oh, the Crayleys. Yes. What do I have them? Private school? Mm. Of course. Right? Yeah. Big surprise. <laughs> you ever get the feeling that everybody's talking about you? Yeah, all the time. Heard about my dad, right? Just ever since he took off, it's just everybody. I just want to punch them in the fucking face. Yeah, I usually do. How do you feel about it? Mm, good. Yeah, I bet. She really thinks he's coming back. You don't? No. I mean, he hasn't answered a single phone call. He hasn't even tried to call us back. Doesn't really seem like he wants to be found. Fools. We'll low down fools. What are you doing, Joey? Don't play by the rules. We got mad money, and we make the girls drool. Every time we're in the hallways, the teachers be yelling, Joey and Brennan, use a couple of fellas. No time for you, no time for school. Because we're, we're the, the motherfucking low down fools. Lowdown fools. We the lowdown low fools. Because we are, are the motherfucking lowdown low fools. fools. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> every time that we step up in the party, every time a party starts, right. you know we're there. And none of the girls are wearing their underwear. Mess with Joey, and you'll get smacked. Tom and Brennan's hood, and you'll get whacked. Because <laughs> we are, are the, the motherfucking, motherfucking lowdown low fools. fools. Shit. <laughs> Man, we thought that was so cool. That was it. Man, why do you always have to act like such a dick at school? What? <laughs> He's just got this, like, tough guy routine, you know? Just, I know you, man. You're a really good guy. Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm not. You really are. I'm not. <laughs> Shit, now I'm gonna have that stupid song stuck in my head all night. Low down fools. Low down fools. Low down fools. Cause we are the mother trucking. Low down fools. Mother trucking. Yeah, that's right. I changed that. Why did you change that? Cause I'm the better rapper and I make the executive decisions. Yeah, that's true. Or the better rapper. Yeah. And you're kind of just like 
P. Diddy. I'm like Notorious B.I.G. and you're P. Diddy. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> you are not Notorious B.I.G. Americans today that are infected by a virus or corrupt files that can take Get up, zombies. God damn it, Joey. Get off me. Get up. Get out of my bag. Come on. Brush your teeth. Don't hit each other. I'll read you a bedtime story. And then the fire queen kissed the ice king on the mouth with tongue <laughs> and melted his heart. And then they died. No, they didn't die. They didn't <laughs> die. All right, sleep tight, guys. Let the bed bugs bite. <laughs>
Hey, Joey. How long did it take you know, after she died until you got used to it? Brandon, your dad is coming back, okay? So shut up. Britt tells me you've been hanging out with this guy's kid? What are you up to, Joe? Huh? Trying to get us caught? I was keeping an eye on the situation. Making sure he didn't find out anything. You stay away from this kid. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, sir. I tell you about shooting my goddamn tree. Ah! Fuck! Come along, Joey. They're good. Let's get them steaks in here. Get it down. We never eat this. It's good, isn't it? I don't like it. You haven't tried it yet, have you? Well, I'm going to be smart. She said she didn't like it. Yeah, I heard her. Maybe this piece needs a place to come and park. Remember this? Chris, you don't have to eat it if you don't want to. What do you think of it now? Pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's better when it comes in for a landing. What do you think of yours, Blake? <laughs> Bloody gum. <laughs> Bloody good. Well, maybe you need some more blood on it. Some more blood on that. Can we afford this? What's life if you don't treat yourself once in a while? Right? Mm. You're liking that more. I'm noticing that. <laughs> All right? You know, this was a, a really great meal that you cooked. Oh, I did, huh? 
I'd like to applaud the lady of the house for cooking such a great meal. Hmm? Putting on an apron, going out there in the cold? Come on. Around Thank you. Along. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Family time. We should do this more often. What are you getting into this weekend? Uh, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I might, I might go to a party. Really? Everyone is so wasted and annoying all the time. Well, I'm having a little thing at my place Friday night. If you want to come through. about watching this shit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Murders don't happen around here much. Not at all, really. And I'm gonna start looking everywhere and just start putting pieces together. We covered all of our bases. There's no way that they can trace this back to us. Shut the fuck up, Keegan. Hey, you stupid motherfucker. I swear to God, you say another fucking stupid thing like that, I'll kick the shit out of you. I'm fucking so tired. We were doing fat just fine without you here. Step outside. It's all because of you, man. Because you fucking couldn't hold your shit together. Now we're in this fucking shit. You see what's happening here? Huh? People are getting tense. And when they get tense, they get chatty. And when people get tense and chatty, like morons. You know what happens to morons? Hmm? They get caught.
Britt ask you to keep an eye on me? Oh, uh... I, uh... We were... going to the funeral. Yeah. When you're dead, everyone's your best friend. Who was it, Ian? I couldn't go in. I never know what to say. No, just follow what everybody else does. I could. You know, the last time I was here, my grandmother died. And I couldn't go in even for her. Hear what they're saying? His face was bashed in so badly they couldn't have an open casket. It wasn't an accident. Yeah, well, people will say anything for a better story. Hey, Tara. You know, not a single one of you has me fooled. I know who you are. <sighs> Got the fucking town at this guy's funeral. Small town. We get company. Officer, we really do need to stop meeting like this. Not here asking about power tools, Richie. Trying to figure out what you are here for, babe. Where were the two of you the night Greg Carlson was killed? Oh, honey, I don't even know what day that was. 14th. How's the dowdies? Having a beer? Yeah, I already checked with the bar. They didn't see you. We had a bonfire. I was having problems with my girl. You know, they wanted to get me drunk. How old are you? What? You trying to arrest them for giving alcohol to a minor? Joe? No. You know, my best friend's dad is dead. I'm still in my funeral clothes, and you're here stirring up shit. Brendan's dad? He's never coming back. They will never share a beer together. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. Now get off our property. You heard him? Go to that guy's funeral. Down in a minute.
Hey, what's going hey, on? Hey. You have cows in there? Shh. Sorry, sorry. What the hell are you doing here? What's up, man? Hey, Brandon. Look, I'm I'm sorry. I wasn't able to make it to the funeral, but you gotta get the fuck out of here, man. No, 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 no. Seriously. No, no. no. You gotta come somewhere with me. I can't. I see I literally I can't. No, you have to. I'm sorry, you gotta go, Brennan. You have to. I know something that the cops don't. Yeah! Come on, man, you have to come with me. Let's go. Hey, Brennan, where are we going? You know, one night, my dad came home. He said he had to tell me something. I must have had about 10 fucking martinis. He said, Brendan, do whatever makes you happy. And fuck the rest. To him. You got the wrong house. Bullshit. You know who I am. Hey, man. Come on. Let's just get it Look, out of here. You got the wrong house. Cut the shit, okay? You were fucking him, weren't you? What are you doing, man? Come on. Let's go. You know you weren't his only horror, right? That's why you fucking killed him. I didn't. I didn't kill him. Bullshit! You're a fucking liar and a whore, Brandon. I'm not a fucking liar or a whore. And if you don't get out of here, I'm gonna call the cops. Oh yeah, call them. Yeah, call the I will. fucking cops. I will call, call them. Call the cops and tell them you fucking killed my dad. I will. I will call the fucking cops. Brandon, bitch, come on! Hey, Brandon, did you did you tell anybody about her yet? I'm scared of man. I don't care. The fuck do you know anyway? Yeah, shit, don't touch me. Alright, come on, pull over. Right? Nah, man. Fuck the rest. Fuck the rest. Pull over, man. Fuck the rest. Pull over the car. What the fuck? What the fuck is your problem? Get out, I'm driving. Get out. You know what? Fuck you, Joey. You want to know why we don't hang out anymore? Because my dad didn't want me hanging out with your white trash loser family. Get the fuck off me, man. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. Brennan. 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 Ready! Ready! Why are you so sweaty? Uh, went for 
for a run, buddy. You don't run. <laughs> it was a fast walk. <laughs> Set of town. I was driving by. Saw my car over here, didn't you? You're wondering. I wonder what he's doing here. Right? Figures. Uh, they brought me in to ask me a few questions. This and that. <laughs> Guys are clueless. Dogs without noses. I was. I was in and out of the place in like ten minutes. I didn't tell your dad and your cousin about this. Wouldn't want to get him worried about nothing, right? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Got you, you pussy. Send you. This fucking idiot didn't show up for work, no phone call, no nothing. What do you want? Uh, spit it out, what? I saw, I saw Keegan at the police station. What? I what? saw Keegan at the police station. What were you doing at the police station? This is hey! It. Hey! I don't know he's telling you, but, but it ain't true. The fuck did you do? We went right down to the police station. What? Just listen. Figured they're gonna bring me in eventually, so I'm not just beat them to it. You don't voluntarily walk into a fucking police station. What'd you tell them? Sent those fuckers in a loud goose chase. <laughs> uh, how's that? I gave them some names of some guys he owed money to. That guy, guy was a low life. Huh. So what happens when they find out you were playing them? They won't. I gave them some secondhand bullshit. Who'd be dumb enough to go down to the police station if they were guilty? I promise you we're good. You did this without talking to me. I know. What were you doing at the police we're station? We're good. We ain't good. I, I went to go pick up Allison at her place and drove past the police station and saw Keegan's car there. Nice of you to show up. Three hours late, no phone call, no nothing. We got a shitstorm going on over here. Hey! 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! What, are you gonna murder me too, huh? You showed up at Tara's house with the dead guy's kid. What? Started interrogating him. I, I didn't... I didn't know... I didn't know we were going there. And I, he didn't know nothing, okay? 
He, he didn't find out anything. Tara's freaking the fuck out. She's threatening to go to the cops. I don't know what the fuck to do. Shut up! Both of you, shut up. I weren't strong enough for this. It's my fault. See? Because I was too stupid to realize it. You put all of us, all of us, the kids, at risk. Me? No. No, not me. You can't even take care of your own family. Mom knew. Yeah, Mom knew. She told me we can never rely on a piece of shit like you. Okay? Rich. Yeah? Rich. He ain't gonna be able to keep his mouth shut. You ever hit my kid again, I'll snap your fucking neck. Snitch. I talked. The cops would be kicking in your fucking door right now. If Keegan said anything, I'm gonna deal with it. But for now, we got a point. If she's teetering, it's only gonna get worse. That's why you should go talk with her. Didn't have that. Get another way, my dear. What are we talking about? Hey, what are we talking about? The fuck you think we're talking about? I don't know if you need anything else. Scared. I don't know what to do. Just 
story of your life. Whatever it is, whatever you did, some things can't be fixed. Joy, shut the door. Watch your mouth, you zombie. doing here are you he's, uh, he's burning home yeah but uh, are you okay what's going on hey mom it's okay you can come up hey hmm. Brandon uh, look man I'm really sorry, okay? Leaving you back there was a dick move. I didn't mean anything I said about you or your family either. We were best friends, man. I was there. What? Your dad was killed. I was there. I was supposed to be lookout, but I missed a car in the back. It was for fucking coins, no harm. With the insurance, you know? But then your dad got out of the car, and he was drunk. He came after me, and then Brick came out. Was he scared? My dad's scared. Yeah. Yeah, he was scared.
Fairfield Road, possible 1120 in progress. Please use caution, suspects may be armed. Sleeping. Brit. Stay down. Stay down. Oh no! Please, 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 Brit. Come on. Come on, you. Do it! Do it, and let's get out of here! Do it! Do it! Rich. Do you know how brave you are to do what you did? Hey, uh, do you know where Blake and Gracie are right now? They're in a safe place with our social worker. Don't worry. Do you have any other family? Yeah, I, I, I think I have a, a great aunt on my mom's side. There's a chance they could go to her, but I can't make any promises. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you? I'll be back. 